I'm going to talk about how to get your track outs into GarageBand using Mac or using an Apple. I had another video showing you how to get to uh, or how to use Studio One and I'll probably do another video to show you how to use uh, Pro Tools and then maybe Sonar if any of y'all use Sonar. But this is using GarageBand and Apple. GarageBand comes with every uh, Mac software that you have so I figured I'd show you this. Now if you uh, download your track out from the, the uh, website, it'll show up in your downloads folder. You just click on this, click on that, it'll expand it, and then click on the folder and you'll see all of your track outs. It has each instrument on its own WAV file. And I'm gonna show you how to get this into GarageBand, okay? This is called GarageBand. It may be in launch, in your launch pad. Uh, I have mine down here. Just hit GarageBand, and let's see here. We'll just click on uh, we'll click on Empty Project. Choose that, and now we have a blank slate. It's asking us what track do we want to start with. Say you want to record some vocals over it. Just click on the microphone, and you want to make sure you have the right input selected. Right, depending on your setup, just choose the right input for you. Create, and I'm just going to use the the laptop's microphone for this example. As you can see, I'm already getting a signal, but uh, just in case you're not, you just wanna go to preferences and then click on audio MIDI. And then make sure on your input device you have your microphone selected, okay? And if there's an allow access button over there, you just click that, you're gonna get a screen like this show up and you have to make sure GarageBand is selected there so that you have access, okay? And uh, you can rewind this if I'm going a little bit too fast. But uh, so you're at a blank slate and now you wanna get your track outs in, right? Click on Finder, there are your track outs. All you wanna do is select all those and then drag to your project. And make sure it lines up right there at position 1111, 1000 adding audio files and there we go those files are in there and they are ready to go let's hit play oh yeah but there's one last thing you got to do right you want to make sure all these little audio signals uh, line up appropriately on the, the the measure at the top of the measure and this will help you when you start recording vocals and you want to duplicate your vocals uh, throughout the song so what you got to do, you got to get the tempo. And the tempo is on every single track, track out that we give you, right? So this says 123. We want to make sure that the tempo of GarageBand shows 123, all right? And then you should be able to click right there on the top of a measure and hit play. And it just starts playing right there all together. So it's all synced up. All these files are already synced up. You just got to make sure that they start all the way at one. You don't want them starting like that or starting like that. It's not going to work. It's going to sound messed up. Just make sure all these files, oops, make sure all these files start at zero, right? And then it will play uh, throughout the track, all right? So if you're ready to record a vocal, right, what do you got to do? You want to record a vocal, just hit that plus sign up there at the top, select recording using a microphone right and you got signal so you're ready to go ready ready to go ready 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 to go hey hey ready to go hey you see my signal hey hey i'm processing right now yeah hey <laughs> i'm a producer not a rapper <laughs> y'all have fun man do more what you love sfr beats